Welcome back, everybody. We have the areas in Alabama with the tightest real estate markets, the return of the Serval Cats, another mayor in trouble, and a new building in Huntsville. I'm Mike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. Inventory of homes in Alabama is still way below normal. Now, that's not news. We've been in a seller's housing market now for months. AL.com's William Thornton reported on which areas have the tightest inventory where homes barely hit the market at all before somebody new is already in there putting up shiplap and painting the brick beige with whatever credit they have left. Now, the region that leads the state shouldn't shock you either. Keep in mind that analysts say that a market that is evenly balanced between buyers and sellers will have around six months of inventory. Six months. Stats from the Alabama Center for Real Estate at the University of Alabama show that our state had only 1.6 months of inventory in August. Now I'll just give you the areas where the center's data shows around a month or so of inventory or less. Huntsville, 0.8 months. Athens, 0.8 months. The Shoals, 0.8 months. Decatur, 0.9 months. Those are all in North Alabama. Phoenix City is next at exactly one month. And in 1.3 months of inventory are Mobile, Montgomery, and Marshall County. Also in August, the statewide median sales price for a home was up 6.6% over what it was a year ago. It's now $216,396. Two African serval cats that escaped from a North Alabama barn earlier this month have been recaptured, confirmed WHNT-TV. The pets belonged to 256 Exotics Pet Store in Huntsville. It drew some attention, and Carol Baskin of Tiger King fame called for the store to be cited. Alabama is one of 18 states that allow people to own an African serval without a license. They get around 2 feet tall and weigh up to 40 pounds. Another Alabama mayor is in trouble with the law, reports AL.com's Carol Robinson. Lynette Mayor Kyle McCoy pleaded guilty in Chambers County Circuit Court to using his office for personal gain. The plea deal says that McCoy admitted using his position to provide a Chevrolet Tahoe owned by the city to a family member for seven months. Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall also said that McCoy admitted he used his position to avoid paying for city gas, electric, water, sewage, and garbage. Sentencing will be October 26th. Normally, a $150 million building that has state-of-the-art health care facilities and impacts the city's skyline would be something you'd hear about repeatedly and loudly. But there's a pandemic still bringing pain to Alabama, and in these tough times, with staff stretched thin, Huntsville Hospital has taken a toned-down approach to its biggest construction project ever. AL.com's Paul Gaddis reports that the orthopedic and spine tower opened last month. Not that you'd know about it. Said New Huntsville Hospital CEO Jeff Sams, quote, We're going to have a celebration. We're just going to do it later. Thank you all so much for listening. We will be back here again tomorrow. Until then, stop by and see us anytime you can. We're on the World Wide Web at AL.com.